try to pull a cigarette out for this one. I don't know how in touch you are with who the serfs are, slash Lance. If there were a poster boy for bad faith, it'd be this dude right here. Yeah, him. That dude. This dude's top three. Easily top three bad faith motherfuckers on the planet. Let's do it. I, I, you show subway crime to talk about all of these inflated yeah, sub, crime sub, numbers. And, crime and, is down in New York City in and, 2023 and, and, in, and by every down, metric. Down compared to what? Down compared to 2021 and don't, 2022. Don't change, don't change the subject. No, no, right? You, you accused not. us no, no, of publishing minute, videos we don't minute. publish. Wait, wait. Okay, so hold on. He's about to, you know, we're about to manipulate some crime statistics. That's what AJW is really good at. So he's like, he's, he's got a calling. You can tell. He's like, ah, time to activate. Are you ready? Pull out the piccolo. Um, Pull out the piccolo? Tim, she's not changing the topic. She's uh, answering your question. If, if you're like, well, give me examples or but I don't do that. It's like, well, yes, that, you do, actually. That is that is a kind of bread and butter part of this entire show is you'll take an incident and you'll run with it. You'll do the same thing in multiple categories. Doesn't matter if it's crime, doesn't matter if it's crime statistics, doesn't matter if it's the representation of certain demographics in crime statistics. As you change the subject to give an example to which you feel would be fitting to the topic of what you're talking about, that's what Tim did. And I only like Tim, so fuck Tim. But you're doing exactly what you just said he was doing. Like, potato, potato, bro. Like, letting the man fucking make the example he was gonna make. If you're just gonna do the same fucking thing, like, just shut the fuck up. You do the same thing for what you think is grooming or pedophilia with drag shows. You'll show, like, all these pictures, like, hey, do you approve of this? What about this? You see this photo right there? Yeah, you see where this this pole dancer's at, a, at, a, at an elementary school? Do you approve of that? It's like, no, I have no idea what the context is for the shot that you're showing me. You need context for a pole dancer at an elementary school, bro? What fucking context would you need for a pole dancer at an elementary school? That's uh, not something I'm here to approve or disapprove of. What I would want to know is, broadly speaking, are there statistics and data on drag queens sexually molesting children? So sexually molesting children is your bar for when it's okay or when it isn't with a child. As long as nobody's sexually molesting children, eh, just let them do whatever they want to do. Have naked and fucking slide up and down a pole in front of elementary school children, right? <sighs> starting out fucking strong lance and if there was you bet believe the right would lose their shit every single time they talked about this since there's not because you haven't brought it up once why would he bring it up if it's not the topic they're fucking talking about hey tim why didn't you bring up this other shit that i'm now talking about that you aren't even talking about you think you fucking made a point there lance come on dude if it's down in 20 compared to 2021 <laughs> and there was a giant year over year increase from 2020 to 2021, then you're talking about something it that's down. It wasn't giant, it was a small bump from the a pandemic. A 47% increase in homicide in small, the city of New York is not a small bump. It was See, okay, so right what he did there is exactly what I was telling you about. 47%, what are the numbers? A 47% homicide rate rise in a year on year. What do you think it went two to three? Is that the 47%? It went from two murders to three murders in New York City, right? Because we've done this, like in Vancouver, there's a lot of organizations that does a similar thing. They will take statistics and they will be like, there has been a 127% increase in burglaries in Vancouver. There has been a 213% increase in this and that and that. And you're like, oh, that sounds very scary. Are you comparing Vancouver to New York City? That's not what you're doing here, right? You're not comparing New York City to Vancouver, right? I'm, I'm hoping that's not what you're doing here. And then it's like, yes, it went from six to 12. Six to 12 incidents, yes. Oh. Um, uh, how many people died last year from overdoses? Okay, well, we're not talking about six to 12 here in a homicide sense. We're talking more likely, I don't got the numbers in front of me as, I'm, as you don't have the numbers in front of you, but I'm going to assume it was, let's just say it was 200. Let's say it was 200 murders the year previous, and it went up 47%, almost 50, that would make it an even 100, just for the sake of some argument here. It's now 300. It went from 200 to 300. We're not talking about 6 to 12, bro. They ain't fucking six murders in New York City since the fucking, what, 17 fucking hundreds, maybe? Talk about hundreds, bro. Hundreds. Th uh, thousands. Yes, thousands. Thousands died from overdoses. Oh, so, so more people died from that than were burnt alive by arsonists. Yes. What is this what about shit? What the fuck does overdoses have anything to do with crime and violent crime? Like, bro, you're going on this tangent about fucking ODs 
as if, oh man, thousands of people fucking OD every year, so therefore, 300 people killing another person ain't that big a fucking deal, I guess. But there was like an increase, like by 127% in arsonist burnings. Yes. Because three more happened. Yes. You think you just made a fucking point talk about arsons? Like, I assume you, you did. Like, that, that look on your face really shows a sign of like, you just told them, huh? We went from three arsons to six arsons, so therefore, those 200 to 300 murders, it's not a big deal. Eh. Thousands of people OD. Uh. Homicides are, have been on a precipitous decline since the 70s, since the 80s, okay. since the 90s. There was a bump because of desperation in the pandemic, There's... and now it's back down in 2023. So, like... That's irrefutable. That's the NYPD's own data. That's on all major crimes. Murders, rapes, grand larcenies, so uh, this is robberies. A... <clears throat> This is an argument I'm often confronted with, and it's actually pretty terrible. So crime is down from the peak for sure, right? In some years in New York City, we had 2,100 murders. I think that's the largest ever in the history of the city of New York. However, my standard isn't, it's not as bad as the worst time in the history of the city of New York. When I mm -hmm. see murders jump year over year from about 319 to 469. What do you mean year over year, the two years that I just year <laughs> mention you're speaking of a small how many people die from heart disease every year in new york what the fuck point are you trying to make dude motherfuckers dying from heart disease and motherfuckers killing one another murder come on dude like who the fuck is listening to this dude who the fuck is subscribing to you bro how many people die every year from gun violence that's what they're talking about you fucking moron he just said what well, it was 300 something to 460 something like, that's what he's talking about, not heart disease, not ODs. He's talking about fucking the murder rate, you fucking dingbat. Good God, I'm not five minutes into this shit. Dude, I'd like, ah. Self-inflicted gun wounds in New York. How many people die from suicide through a variety of means in New York? Yeah, there's, there's, there's a lot of death for sure, but does that mean that there's an epidemic of crime because suddenly it's gone up by, what, 30 to 40? So the people who are in addition to that, in that following year that were affected by that percentage bump. Whatever, guys. Hey, man, thousands of people are dying of heart disease. Sorry. Like, it's not an epidemic. Not an epidemic by my definition of epidemic. So therefore, it's not even a big deal. Hey, thanks for clearing that up, Lance. Is year it? over year, as in from 2020 to 2021. That would be a year yes, over year yes. increase. That is a dramatic increase, and it's the largest since, I believe, 2010. The greatest year-over-year -year increase of all time in the city of New York, by the way. But it's all but the it's way back to 2010 again. numbers. It's down yeah, It's down this compared to the increase, but it's not down compared to 2019. This was a once-in-a-lifetime pandemic where people's desperation and their mental health was severely harmed. Yeah. Um, people were out of work. And yeah. that kind of desperation leads to more crime. That's the reality of how crime works. Poverty does not lead to crime. And if you believe that, I'd get out of your bubble. Poverty um, leads to crime. This I is, would imagine this is so inaccurate. Me, why do you think uh, 25 people got shoved in front of trains last year? I don't know, dude. Well, <laughs> I, that, <told> you <laughs> that is the right answer, by the way. What does that say about society? What do you want me to answer here, Tim? He didn't pose, what does this say about society? He was cut off, and now you're inferring that that was gonna be his question? Like, you're answering a question no one asked. But nature is healing? I have no idea what this is. Like, like okay, that, that's it, not a good thing. I would prefer less people to be thrown in front of trains. Does that mean that anarcho tyranny is taking over the city? I don't think so. Yes, no, it's not Gotham. We're okay. Motherfuckers are killing each other, bro. They're fucking doing it. And the numbers are going up. The cases of motherfuckers just getting fucked up are rising. It's happening. You could see it. I don't give a crime stats. Fucking no goddamn crime stats, bro. Motherfuckers getting fucking hurt. Question, you're saying that, uh, you're saying poverty and desperation results in crime. I'm wondering why it is that you've had- He didn't these, say uh, that, but that is homeless true. guys. They've been predominant, I think it's almost entirely these homeless guys shoving these people in front of trains. Last year it was 25. Wow. For, and so for that, that is- So that's a mental- So yeah, also what, like, so it's all just exclusively homeless people? Are, are they training each other to do this? Is this a game? Is this for points? Is it membership into a organization or some kind of fraternity? What is going on here, Tim? You're just, I, I think you're just saying the first thing that comes to your mind. That ain't you just saying the first thing that comes to your mind? What are they doing it for points? Are they doing it to get in some club? 
which is this weird idea that homeless people are just randomly throwing people into trains on an epidemic scale. 25 motherfucking homeless dudes, if that's what it is, I don't fucking know if it is or ain't, but I'm just going off what I'm fucking hearing here. But if he said it was 25 homeless people threw people in front of trains, it's not. it has nothing to do with being an epidemic or not. It has nothing to do with any of that shit. If people are doing it, like they shouldn't be fucking doing it, we need to figure out why they're fucking doing it. Like it's health problem i mean we have a we do have a mental health problem in this country we have an issue oh, yeah. with not having socialized health care where people are unable to access health care mental health care in particular but also every other kind of health care i mean 28 million uninsured people in this country that's a massive problem oh man if people just had health care boy yeah, it man our fucking crime rate would be zero right just put some social workers and psychiatrists fucking on the beat Next year, it'd be fucking half of what it was last year, right? If people were just health insured. Yeah. I mean, what, do you, yeah, what, what is your stance on Medicare for all and health care? I'm, I'm for universal health care. Oh, you are? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think, I think we'd have to have some kind of like basic coverage for universal, uh, universal standard, meaning like... Emma's crushing it, by the way. Emma's not crushing nothing, by the way. If you're having an episode, this is particularly where we bring you when we help you. If you're sure. uh, broken bones, flu... Things that it's like relatively simple and knowledge based. The, the challenge with it is that we got limited space, we got limited doctors, but you know, I don't think we can function as a society if we have people yeah, just dying right. in the streets like we do with drug abuse and, you know, well, then we should, you minds. should promote housing first policies on your program. Like in Houston, <clears throat> what they did, there was a pilot program under Obama, it was a HUD grant, and they reduced homelessness by 63% over 10 years. Housing first works. Because okay, so that's taking anybody that's on the street. And putting them into state-funded housing. I'm assuming that's what you mean by that. Do you think if you don't continue down that path, you're just not going to get more homeless, just waiting on the state to come in there and put them in something? And then I guess once we get them in housing, we just pay for their housing the rest of their lives? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So that's what you do think. Oh, okay. So people just want a house, right? Yeah, no. Give everybody a house and no more homeless. As they guaranteed housing. Do you think that the 25 examples that you cite last year and there's like over 2 million subway riders a day so mm -hmm. you cherry picking that i feel like is it's not cherry picking it's where you ask or you mentioned that desperation leads to crime yeah so i'm yes right so 25 people out of how many people live in new york how many millions and millions of people live in new york no one is going to defend like this is the position that they always want to put you in by they that i mean the right no one's asking you to defend it no one's thinking that you think it's okay if homeless people throw people in front of the subway. Fucking straw man loving motherfucker you are, Lance. I'm telling boy, holy fucking shit. You love to fucking make a straw man look like a fucking asshole. You're fucking a master at that. You're a fucking master of fucking burning a goddamn dumbass straw man up. They always want to put you into a defensive, reflective position where it's like, would you support this, huh? Leftist, look. You are putting yourself into a defensive position. That's how you're taking what he's saying. Nobody's forcing you into any fucking positions to think that you think it's okay. Look, look right there. This is a, a pole dancer in front of children. And it's like, yeah, this is not a queer event. This was a straight event. I found the source. Yeah, so this was not appropriate. Like, yo, you paused the video to bring up this pole dance and shit again. But I'm not here to defend that. Is there an epidemic of this happening? I, do you want me to defend people pushing strangers in front of trains? No. Uh, spicy take. I'm against pushing strangers in front of trains and killing them. Yes, I'm not for that. I'm, I'm anti that. I would like that to not happen more. I would like that to happen less, actually. It's fucking so weird that, what, like, what you take away from what people say. It's like you can't just hear what somebody says and just take it at that sentence. Like you have to fucking just combine it with all these other fucking garbage fucking ad homs it's fucking corny as shit dude what are we doing here this is not a serious conversation you're making it a not serious conversation with the way you're fucking handling it the shit that you're still talking about makes it a not serious fucking conversation you don't know the point he was trying to make because you didn't let him finish it Again, if you look at the actual problems befalling society, especially when it comes to the problems in New York, um, is it overwhelmingly not access to health resources, not access to mental health resources, the over-policing of marginalized communities, specifically black and indigenous communities? Like, that's uh, these are the things. What would be the indigenous community of New York City? I'm really curious as to what that is, God, because I'm not sure what the fuck the indigenous community to New York City is. This fucking word marginalized, I, I'd like, no one's fucking marginalized. If, you, if anybody's fucking marginalized, you marginalize your fucking self with the categories you motherfuckers box yourself into. 
over-policing of marginalizing indigenous communities. Put the fucking rhetoric checklist down, Lance. Put it down. Have a fucking honest conversation, why don't you? This we should maybe be talking about because they affect, again, millions of people. Of the 25 people who get pushed in front of a train each year by homeless people, that's fucking horrifying. Maybe we need better access to, I don't know, healthcare. You think these homeless motherfuckers can't go to the hospital, get all the help they fucking need if they wanted it? Because I guarantee you, New York fucking city, homeless, marginalized community or what, if you have mental issues and wanted help for it, people would get it for you, Lance. They have that option. And they're not fucking taking it. They don't fucking want it. Unless you're going to make people take it. You're going to make people do what you think they need to do, right? Oh, I'm sure. So that there are less people who have mental illness on the street. Less people who have hardcore addiction on the street. Less people who are homeless, period. Why not just get rid of homeless people by housing them? You can pay for that. Who's going to pay for that? You think motherfuckers are just going to just allow you just to continuously fucking their fucking bank accounts to pay for motherfuckers that ain't about shit? We don't owe nobody housing. Most of these motherfuckers come from a house. Most of these motherfuckers come from a family that had help or were offering help. I'm sure it ain't all of them. I'm sure there's those fucking outliers with terrible fucking histories behind them. But that ain't everybody. Most of these motherfuckers are drug addicts, took that shit upon themselves, knowing the fucking consequences of their action, and still did it. Or on the street, in the gutter, and half of them choose to fucking be there. Because I guarantee there's a rehab that would take them. I guarantee there's state-funded fucking rehabs that are housing, that could get them clean, and that could get them the mental health that they want. But they don't want it. They're not taking it. They're not taking those opportunities that are given to them by the people who just pay for it. Ah, oh, we could pay for it. Well, we're paying for those things. And don't nobody take us up on them. Wondering why it is specifically that we saw this increase. Is, I is, is it like someone's desperate but why murder somebody, you know what I mean? Well, I mean, they're experiencing a mental health episode. They, we do not have adequate health care in this country, mental health care. I hear a lot of talk often after ma mass shootings that mental health is the most important thing in this country. Mm -hmm. Then yeah, we should have socialized health care so everyone can have access to it. Garen, fuck a T, bro. I live out here in Cali. If you got mental fucking issues and want some help, it's right down the street, bro. You show up with nothing and they're going to fucking try and do whatever they can for you. Whether it be drugs, mental health, they're going to do what they can. And somebody going to pay for it. It won't be them. Somebody will pay for the help that they are getting offered. But they don't take it. They don't want it. They don't want your help. They want to live the life that they want to live and fucking do whatever the fuck comes in between it. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Like, get, yo, you, like, your whole fucking outlook on the world is such fucking Bubbled, padded bullshit, bro. Like, because you read about shit something. Like, the real world don't fucking work like that. I doubt you you leave your fucking house once a month. Probably order all your groceries online. They're all Amazon coming motherfucking ten goddamn times a day. Motherfucker ain't never left the house, I bet you, in two, three years. Got a big, bad motherfucking world out there, yo. You think, yo, you can fix from some article you fucking read, you clown. Um, and yep. that would, that paired with a housing first policy places where people can actually live and there's guaranteed housing for people if we were able to do that we would be able to drastically reduce the crime that you guys are talking about drastically reduce the crime that we're talking about if we just gave them houses i don't believe that you realize how incredibly stupid that sounds you've seen some movie that this motherfucker was just down on his luck and on the street and just got given a house and suddenly he's fucking starting a business and doing all these great things i'm sure so when you're talking about poverty leading to crime like what is that based on because after prohibition was repealed all of human history during the oh well that's convenient all of human history great depression yeah. crime fell during the great recession people with your line of thinking I debated actual justice warrior. Oh my God, let's cut him off. Don't, don't let him finish his point. Don't let him finish what he was gonna say. Might have some sort of fucking relevance to the topic on hand. Let's cut him off and now let's give him this spiel about this time, yo, you fucking had a conversation with AJW, right? And I explained that to him very clearly and I gave him all the statistics and I used conservative sources. I was like, I can pull from the International Monetary Fund. I can pull from the World Bank. I can pull from the statistics from actual right-wing think tanks on this. Yes, there is no uh, possible denying that large amounts of poverty can lead to large amounts of crime, of course. Thought we would see a crime spike nationwide. It didn't happen. You can actually look at the crime wave if you wanted to pull it up that didn't occur. And that was the largest recession in the history of this country since the Great Depression. So what we've seen throughout American history is poverty not leading to crime. What we actually see, see is the opposite, is that crime nonsense. drives areas into- Every fucking thing you've said has been fucking nonsense. Pointless, worthless, ad hom, straw man, bad faith. 
you're fucking just the worst. We look at store closures across the- It's, it's, it's the upside down. He's living in the upside down. You're living in the fucking upside down. Get out of your house and get into the real world. The nitty gritty motherfucking streets of America, which you can't even picture. Short of what you know, you've seen on a movie or on a YouTube video or something. Motherfuckers will eat you up and spit you right back out on the street. He's seen like, you know, the cart before the horse or whatever you want to say. It's Bitch, you ain't got a cart on your horse. Yo, you just got this fucking rhetoric checklist. Just bop, 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 bop. Oh, he goes here? Okay, let's bring this up. Okay, he goes here? Let's bring this up. Anything that gets you not talking about the topic at hand. It's like, it's everything in reverse. And like, he said the same thing about predominantly black neighborhoods. He would be like, well, predominantly black neighborhoods commit the most crime, so they require the most police. I was like, because there is over-policing in black and racialized neighborhoods, they have more interactions with the police. Ain't got nothing to do with the crimes committed or the violence surrounding that neighborhood, right? Oh, I'm sure you fucking believe that. Bro, there's fucking neighborhoods, bro. Yo, they'll fucking shoot you right in your fucking head, take the shoes off your feet, leave you right in the gutter. In a second, not give a fuck about shit. But yo, you can't even imagine that person. You can't even think of a person with that type of mentality. Cause you ain't never met a motherfucker with that mentality. Every motherfucker you met got that same bougie ass, bubbled ass life yo, yo, you've ever lived. Think yo, like yo, you know anything, least of all about the streets of fucking New York City, Brooklyn. Harlem, Queens. You best stay in your apartment. Fucking think you're you gonna go down there and talk this bullshit. Oh man, yo, you just need housing. Oh, if you just had housing, most of them motherfuckers got a house to live in. State funded, paid by somebody else. And they still killing motherfuckers. Robbing motherfuckers for their shoes, for their hoodie, for their phone. Motherfucker, life is cheap around them parts. It's the culture, the culture in which they surround it. Life is cheap, your life gonna get treated as cheap. It's that simple, bro. I know yo, you can't see it like that because you're fucking living out in and out of books. There's a real fucking world out there with real fucking consequences. You motherfucker just think, yo, give him a house. Give him a house. Give him free health care. That'll fix it. Yo, do you know, you know, I saw a documentary once where they fucking showed this study about these motherfuckers in Houston where they gave them free housing and it lowered homelessness by almost 70%. It's going to do that when you give them a fucking house, you dickhead. You think you're just going to continuously be able to do that forever? Especially with the amount of motherfuckers that's going to follow suit once they hear about this shit. We go out to fucking Houston, bro. You're they giving out houses. They're going to put us up in something. You think motherfuckers ain't going to take advantage of that? Goddamn right they're going to take advantage of that. Just because you wouldn't, don't think fucking motherfuckers won't. Motherfuckers do terrible, treacherous, selfish shit. If you look at the statistics between white people and black people, guess what? They use drugs at comparable rates. So now we're talking about drug use between whites and blacks? We're not talking about fucking drug use, you dickhead. We're talking about violent crime. We're talking about violent fucking crime. Oh my God, bro. Like, yo, you cannot talk about a single fucking thing and stay on topic, can you? You gotta bring in all these motherfucking bullshit articles about shit that ain't got nothing to do with what the fuck y'all talking about. However, black people end up in the criminal justice system at higher rates and at much longer sentences for a variety of causes. If both groups are both using the drug. It ain't like that no more. The times and all the fucking reasons yo, you're using for all these examples was the 90s, the 80s and 90s. And all this shit's over. And God forbid yo, you start actually yo, using a little bit of common sense when looking at these numbers. Yo, you start talking about fucking whites and mess and black and crack. They're very comparable. They're extremely fucking comparable. Not coke and whites and crack and blacks, but crack and blacks, meth and whites. Like, get the fuck out of here, bro. These motherfuckers in the city are getting locked up mostly by black cops going in front of black judges and getting sent down the fucking river by black prosecutors. But one group is having way more incarceration. What is happening before you? Uh, all, they, uh, they don't have fathers, that's why. It's the, because the no fuck. Like, yo, you can't argue with a motherfucker and their actual arguments. Because that would just put you in a corner where you'd have no fucking where to go. If, you, God forbid, yo, you use Sean's actual fucking arguments. No, no, you got to make these straw men up about fucking arguments nobody's fucking making. It's not just poverty. It's not just homelessness. It's not just fatherlessness. It's also a combination of all those things and the culture in which these motherfuckers live. You fucking grow up living in hood culture, and that could be black, white, Mexican, that could be anybody. If you fucking grow up, regardless of your race, regardless of your gender, but if you come up in that hood culture, that's the life these motherfuckers live. Get that bag, dude. Get that bag. Don't matter who you gotta hurt, who you gotta take it from. They fucking buck on you, blow their motherfucking ass off. Like, that's it. I know you can't picture that, motherfuckers that come up in that world. I swear to fucking God, bro, yo, you are just the armpit of fucking humanity with this bullshit.
What are you saying right now? This is just racism. It's ra you are a racist. This is racism. You're not. You're calling a straw man that you're fucking arguing with racist, implying that it's Sean who's saying it. Like, get the fuck out of here, bro. Like, nobody's fucking arguing this cunt fucking shit. Yo, you're arguing. Like, and then God forbid talk about, oh, it's racist, bro. You're racist. Oh, you're fucking racist. Bro, you're a clown. You're a fucking clown. This is not based in science. You're trying to sell it and you're doing this air. That the whole thing is based upon, well, this is my deep understanding of statistics and how this whole thing works. No, you're not understanding. You're just, you're reversing it up. Like it is the upside down. It's, it's the closest way I can explain it. Bro, you were the most dishonest, bad faith, lying, straw man, making fucking cunt on the planet. Like, yo, you wouldn't, you wouldn't think for a second to act like that for somebody in real life. I'm telling you, yo, you do that from the safety of your apartment about people that you know, yo, you'll never fucking cross paths with in real life and act the way you fucking act. I'm telling you, bro, yo, you soft as butter, son. Soft as fucking butter. The country, due to the fact that we have shoplifting, that leads to decaying in the neighborhoods. <laughs> when people <laughs> abandon the neighborhoods and you see this. You think shoplifting don't have negative effects on the community in which it is? Motherfuckers ain't just gonna stay in business while motherfuckers come in there stealing shit. Regardless of why you think a motherfucker's gonna do it. Fucking laughing. When you see the hauls, by the way, sometimes of these recent shoplifters, it's like, what were they stealing? Uh, whoa, we, we got this maniac. Look at this stuff. Baby formula. Diapers. Whole bunch of diapers. Yeah, and baby formula. What the hell? My God. So fucking what? Cause somebody can't fucking afford to buy it, therefore, hey bro, just let them take it. Just let them take it. If you can afford to pay, pay. If you can't, let them load up and take it. Don't matter what they're doing with it. Hmm. Oh no, they're just fucking parents that just have babies and they can't take care of it. Well, that ain't my fucking fault. Get a fucking job, you dickhead. Jesus, like you're laughing as if it's just these Aladdin motherfuckers stealing shit for the fucking health of their child. You got this clown world outlook and got the nerve to tell somebody that they're in upside down world. Motherfucker, you're not, like, your shit is so fucking spun that it's going around like 720 shit. Like it ain't even upside down. It's going upside down, back around, upside down, back around, and back upside down again. Your, your shit's so fucking spun out of goddamn rotation. What a monster. They were gonna sell that on the street, probably for some crack cocaine. That's how that works, right? It is how it fucking works, you moron. Like, I, like, who the fuck are you arguing with, yo? You fucking have this character of these motherfuckers, yo, that live amongst it, that live within it, that live around it, that see it, have lived it, motherfucker, more than you could ever fucking imagine out your goddamn articles and documentaries and bullshit theories that you fucking spun your dickhead head around. Motherfuckers don't get just take what they want. You gonna let a motherfucker come in your house and just take your shit? Oh, he probably fucking needs it. I believe it. I believe you would, because you're soft as fucking margarine blight that has a psychological impact on people and that drives people to commit these crimes i mean you're working backwards from the no you're actually working backwards wait, 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 but no no poverty clearly this is a very simple concept leads yes. to something like shoplifting it needs to be simple for y'all because y'all are fucking stupid like you can't think in complex fucking issues and the multifaceted fucking ways in which things happen why and where and who and all the fucking things surrounded by it you need it simple because you're fucking morons. Get rid of poverty, ah, no more crime. Why would someone shoplift based on a personal pathology? They're shoplifting because they're desperate. No, like you just don't know none of these people. So how dare yo, you sit there and talk as if you got any idea why somebody's stealing something. You got these motherfuckers in Sephora, pulling trash bags out their pockets, fucking loading it with fucking four or $5,000 worth of fucking makeup. You got kids. 15, 16 years old, walking into the Nike, pouring trash bags out their pockets, loading it up with Jordans. Poverty ain't got nothing to do with shit, bro. These motherfuckers don't give a fuck about nothing, and they're gonna take what they want because you clowns are gonna let them. Fucking goddamn, yo, you motherfuckers are stupid. Not necessarily. Like, so we have a lot yeah. of lax shoplifting laws in California, for example. You know? so they're and doing what they find is we have. Yes! Motherfuckers are doing it for fun, you dingbat. Holy fuck. Fucking shit, yes. People are doing it for fun. People are doing it because they can. If you have no fucking consequences for shit, you're not gonna call the cops on them. You're not gonna try and chase them out the door with it. You have policies on your company that prevent you from trying to stop these people. You think motherfuckers ain't gonna do that shit? And if you say no, I recommend you stop talking about this shit because you are fucking clueless. A lot of organized like retail theft because there's no consequences for it. 
for I instance, mean, it's not, there, people are trying to make money. Well, so, and so, they're desperate, and we have we have untold levels of income inequality in this country. Well, since is it the income late, inequality se- or since poverty? Since the late 70s, 900 percent. That's the increase in CEO pay. What the fuck does the increase in CEO pay have something to do with fucking 15 year olds running up in Nike stealing six thousand dollars worth of Jordans? These motherfuckers have got no fucking connection. There's zero connection between the two. I know you'd love to fucking make it as if just the CEO of Pfizer making all these bonuses that he's making is somehow connected down the line to 14, 15, 16 year old children fucking robbing Sephora for five grand worth of makeup, right? Bro, like, yo, can you imagine how stupid that fucking argument is? I mean, I know you can't, but motherfuckers with common sense, they do. They do recognize how clown stupid and simple your fucking arguments are. Both. By the way, I, I I know he just tried to do a weird move there. I don't know how the fuck yo, you got people paying to subscribe to your fucking channels. Like, that's scary when I imagine the person who would sub to your channel or donate to you. Like, that's fucking, like, otherworldly. That's the upside down. You want to talk about upside down? That's the fucking upside down is the fact that y'all make money. Got these theories and these studies from people who promote the same ideological bullshit that you do. And the whole world falling down around you. And it's as simple as, we'll just pay for what they need. We'll just give them what I think people need to live a good life. If you give people what they need to live a good life, they'll stop doing all the things that we don't want them to do. <laughs> the answer is both. A percent for the working class in this country. That's you don't think bad. that that leads to levels of desperation? I so wait, wait, is look. income inequality the cause or is poverty the cause? Because those are two different things. I mean, they go hand in hand. They don't go hand in hand. You like to make them go hand in hand because you don't know how to talk about nothing without making it as simple as possible. They really yeah. don't. Yes, they do. Because all <laughs> the wealth all. is going towards the CEOs and to the billionaires in this country. Again, but it's not the hubris. The hubris that little cherub has. The hubris. I know this motherfucker just didn't say the hubris this little cherub has. Because he's actually looked into these things and actually dug a little underneath the surface of just poverty and income inequality. And that's, and that's the hubris, right? Yeah, no, no, no. Not the people who just claim it's as simple as income inequality and poverty as reasons why people go steal $6,000 from Sephora. You've got hubris coming out of your fucking eyeballs. You know, like, again, if you <laughs> look like a fucking mythical creature, why? Bro, how are you making fun of the way anybody looks? Like, but like, we could all sit here and crack on you all day long. Like, but what is it? There's no argument. There's nothing gained by sitting here cracking on the way somebody looks. Like, Jesus fucking Christ, dude, why don't you just make an actual argument against what he's saying? Why would you come to the plate all the time with such gall? The confidence he has. He's got confidence, motherfucker, because he knows what he's fucking talking about. He's not fucking dealing in cheap platitudes and rhetoric that you motherfuckers live and die by. That's how he has the gall or the confidence to talk the way he talks because he knows what the fuck he's talking about. He's lived in it. He's seen it. He's been surrounded by it. He's not been sitting in this fucking apartment fucking looking over top of Vancouver thinking they've got any idea why people do the things they fucking do. Because I'm telling you, bro, your entire world is so fucking bubbled and sheltered that you just can't imagine somebody not doing the things that you would do and why you do them. That's as simple as simple can be because that's your entire worldview. It's fucking simple jack shit, bro. It's wild. Same with Tim. Like, it's 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 pretty stunning for me because I'll sit in that room, right? And I'm very big on, like, self-correcting call-outs when someone's like, Lance, you were factually incorrect about it. Oh, my God, I'm so sorry. You're right. Oh, man, I can't believe I didn't realize that. You're a lying motherfucker. Yeah, I, I, I want to find the right answer. You want to find the set of answers that support and back up your fucking narrow-minded worldview. You don't want to fucking find solutions to problems. I promise you, it's going to take holding people responsible for their actions. If you ever want to get a better society in which we can all thrive and actually do shit safely. Like, you, you don't fucking make excuses for bad behavior. You don't make excuses for people taking what they want. That ain't you trying to find out the right shit or nothing. That's you fucking just being a coward that can't fucking call out wrong shit when it's wrong. Because that's more important to me than fucking not looking foolish because I do look foolish all the time. I do it as a form of entertainment sometimes. I don't mind being foolish, all right? I, I'm fine with that. But man, I don't have that kind of confidence. I have a different kind of confidence. I'm fine just being like, hey, what's up? I'm a bit of a silly guy. You don't have confidence. You have arrogance. You have the zero confidence. I, I, like, I can see by the way you're sitting there. You've got the fucking stature of a fucking six-year-old girl. You've got arrogance. Arrogance and sheer fucking ignorance. 
And since you used it, the hubris on you is fucking mountainous. You have nothing figured out. Zero. No solutions. Your fucking solution is to give anybody anything that they would need to live. That's your solution. If somebody needs it, make somebody else pay for it. And ta-da! No more crime. We fixed it. But I, I don't mind telling you that I'm, I'm cool. I'm, I'm confident in that way. I'm not confident just straight being like whatever I think and comes to my mind, I'm just going to say is being factually correct in this circle. And that's entirely what you do. That's entirely what you do. And now you're making a straw man as if that's what Sean is doing. Sean's not doing that. Sean's thought of this stuff. He's debated it. He's figured it out. He's lived it. He's seen it. Done 10 times more than you could ever have done. Sitting and sitting in front of your fucking computer, fucking thinking you you know how anything in the real world fucking works. What gets people ticking? What gets them not ticking? What makes somebody do something and what don't? Like, bro, you don't know monsters. You don't know nobody that come from that culture or get that bag and fuck anybody that gets in my way. You don't. You might have watched a couple rap videos of motherfuckers that talk that shit, but IRL, you ain't never encountered them especially in fucking Vancouver. Then downplay or condescend to you if you actually try to give me any kind of new information. <laughs> you're just wrong. Yeah, unfortunately, you're just wrong. <laughs> you, just... you are fucking wrong. And what am I going to say to somebody who doesn't listen to anything? Think I'm going to waste my time trying to explain something to you with your fucking hubris? Yeah, no, you know, it's just poverty and income inequality, right? That's your argument. Over-policing in marginalized and indigenous communities and greedy CEOs is why people do the things that they do. That's the reason that homeless people push people in front of subways. That's the reason kids fucking run up in Nike and steal $6,000 worth of Jordans is because of greedy CEOs and over-policing in marginalized and indigenous communities. And got the nerve to call somebody else simple. Can you repeat that? We had a giant crime decline from around 1995-1996 nationwide from uh, all the way to 2019 while income inequality was rising. There's, it's really difficult, by the way, and this is why it's fertile ground for race realists like actual justice warrior. No, you fucking didn't just call this man a race realist. The man ain't never been a race realist. The man ain't never said nothing racist. The man's never been a racist. You got nothing to fucking base that race realist on other than your own fucking hubris, your own arrogance and false confidence with your simplistic fucking ideas, soft as fucking butter to your core. Got nerve calls my race fucking realist. Yo. To talk about this kind of stuff and they like using this period of time because there are, it's hard to point to one single factor historically, right? There's a lot of points. There's a lot of things that people have talked and more recently we've actually entertained the very, very true and racist history, especially of the United States, in which there are very large populations, predominantly black populations, that had um, building materials used within the, the regions in which they lived. Oh, shut the fuck up, clown. And now all of a sudden it's fucking building materials for the reason of why people were having the high crime rates earlier in fucking the 90s and 80s, right? Bro, they was using them building materials in white fucking neighborhoods, in white communities, in low-income white communities. Unless you, you can't imagine there being a low-income white community. You can't? Oh no, just anybody white has lived the same sheltered, fucking bubbled existence that, that you have, right? You know, because you can't imagine somebody not living the fucking bougie-ass life that you have. Bro, there were whites that used the same building materials and all their shit. And maybe it did actually have an effect on people's actions or not actions. But they didn't have the same fucking crime rate as everybody else. We're not talking about smoking pot, bro. We're not talking about fucking crack fucking numbers. We're talking about violent fucking crime here, dude. And the culture surrounding it. Like, it ain't got nothing to do with fucking lead paint and all this other bullshit. Like, oh my god, bro. And yo, you called a motherfucker a race realist? You called a motherfucker a race fucking realist over that. And then got the nerve to fucking turn the shit into some fucking lead paint shit or why motherfuckers did or didn't do what the fuck they were doing? How the fuck you motherfuckers subscribe to this clown? How the fuck you, you got a single motherfucker that's willing to give you more than a nickel for your goddamn thoughts? I'll never fucking get you butter margarine built motherfucker.